Hi, I'm Lamar Townsend. I'm a psychic and energy channeler, a tarot reader, and an astrologer. And in this video, I will be doing an energy channeling on California and the coronavirus. So thank you for listening and watching. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, comment, and share with your friends and family. Keep in touch with me on my social media, Lamar Townsend Tarot, on Instagram and Facebook. And make sure you also, if you would be interested in a personal reading, check out my website, LamarTownsendTarot.com. To purchase a reading from me on my store section or schedule a reading with me via Schedule City on my website, I would love to read for you. I'm available for readings for you. And I'm available for coronavirus relief, all right? If you just need someone to talk to, um, you know, during a reading or if you just, you know, have some dire questions you need to ask that concern this coronavirus situation, definitely reach out to me. I'm here for you and I would love to read for you. And I just want everyone to feel okay, you know. Um, so definitely reach out to me for a reading. I am available. If I'm sweating, please forgive me. It's extremely hot here in Virginia. And my AC, they messed up my AC, so I'm waiting for them to come freaking fix the AC. And this coronavirus is messing that up too. So it's just, we're all being affected by it. But I just want to see how California is specifically being affected by it right now. And how California will be affected by it moving forward. So, I have some things to do. Um, I'm on a time crunch a little bit. I do have a client reading in about an hour and a half, and I'm expecting my order of food to arrive soon. I ordered Panda Express. So, I just threw on some quick makeup, some eyeliner, draw, drew on my eyebrows really quickly, and I was like, let me go ahead and get on this coronavirus uh, California situation, because a lot of you have been asking me to read on California and the coronavirus. So, let's just go ahead and get into it and see what's going on with California and the coronavirus. Okay, so before I get into the reading, I'm just going to go ahead and cleanse the energies with some sage so that we can get a good channeling on what's going on with the coronavirus situation in California. <sighs> so everyone take a deep breath. Breathe out. <sighs> We're going to make it through this, okay? No need to be scared. I understand the fear, though, and the worry. But let's see what's going on. By the way, I'm not in California, I'm in Virginia, okay? It's just FYI, a lot of you think I'm in California for some reason. Thank you for cleansing, I guess I give off a California vibe. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of the sex from the past reading in Jesus' name, I pray and thank you, I wait. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of this space from any past reading in Jesus' name, I pray, I'm in terror reading mode. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of this space from any past readings. In Jesus' name, I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you for opening up the channel so that I can get a good reading on California. Thank you for allowing me to be your mouthpiece, Father God. Thank you for speaking through me. Thank you also for allowing me to channel the energies. Thank you for protecting my energy, my thoughts, my mind, and my emotions, and the thoughts, minds, and emotions of those watching this video. In Jesus' name, I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. So I hear two weeks. I see two weeks. So there could be two weeks of a lockdown, two weeks of pandemonium before things get better. Um, I'm hearing lockdown, so I'm thinking there may be two weeks of a lockdown in some way, shape, or form. And I'm assuming if it's a lockdown, that means everything is closed. Um, I do hear, feel like there may be some... Uh, sorry, it's extremely hot here in Virginia right now. I do feel like there will be some sort of relief, though. Meaning, um, it could be financial aid relief, financial relief, or it could be relief in the form of, okay, even though we're on a lockdown, we're going to allow grocery stores or stores to be open from this time. Um, I, but I see also police. Uh, so I see LAPD or soldiers or something like that. So I don't know. I'm hearing martial law. So there could be something with martial law. I don't think it'll be too extreme if, if, if martial law does come into play in California. But I also feel like... There's going to be something where police efforts are going to need to be brought in. So I'm not sure what I mean by that. Um, but I feel like police, LAPD, or whoever is going, to be need to, is going to need to be brought in in order to keep the peace, but in order to keep, um, keep everyone on board and keep everyone on task. All right? uh, the, the, what people, what the government, what everyone is trying to focus on right now is trying to stop the virus from actually spreading. Excuse me, my window's open. So, excuse me, I actually feel like California is a test state. So this could mean test state in terms of um, the coronavirus, but I feel like California is a test state in general. And what I mean by that is California is a state where there's a, a, an amalgamation of all different types of people. Black, white, Asian, Hispanic, Middle Eastern. 
so on and so forth. And it feels like because of that, California is used often as a test state to test certain, I guess, viruses or vaccines. Um, I'm also seeing something about earthquakes as well. Um, I've talked about this in the reading before where I think, you know, people are able to actually incite earthquakes due to dealing something with the tectonic plates. So, you know, I feel like California is a test state. In California, you are the number one test state right now when it comes to this coronavirus situation. So I feel like California may be the first state in the United States to get some sort of relief or to find some sort of vaccine or to be tested with some sort of vaccine dealing with the coronavirus. But there's also something where you are a test state dealing with the pandemic of the coronavirus, the whole hysteria of it all, too. So I actually feel like a lot of people are going to end up moving out of California over the, these next two years because there's just been so much drama going on in California from the, the wildfires to the earthquakes and it's just like no one really feels safe in California is what I'm feeling. So I feel like a lot of people are actually going to end up moving out of California which is sad because I actually thought about moving to California soon so I'm not sure how that's going to go. We'll see. Um, but I hear outskirts. So people could end up moving out, moving to the outskirts, outskirts of California, such as Arizona, um, I'm seeing Las Vegas or something like that, I'm also seeing something about Nebraska, Dakota, um, Iowa, Idaho, like all these places are going to get an influx, all these small states or small towns are going to get an influx of people, because people are going to want to get away from the mass hysteria, I feel. Um, But I am hearing lockdown, so I'm thinking California is going to go on some sort of lockdown soon, which is different from a shelter in. Shelter in is just advising people to stay in. Lock so my camera cut off, and I didn't mention it earlier, but I actually filmed the psychic reading part of this way earlier, but it didn't film, so I don't know what's going on with this video, or who doesn't want me to, like, what, or what entity doesn't want me to film this video, but here I am filming it, so just go away. But I was saying um, that I think, you know, California is going to go on some sort of lockdown, which is different from a shelter in. A lockdown is, I believe, from what I believe and pick up, everything closes. You know, all businesses, grocery stores, um, uh, banks, everything closes for a certain amount of time. But like I was saying, or I don't know if I said it earlier, but there's going to be some sort of relief that happens where I don't know if certain stores open for a certain amount of time where it's like, okay, we're only open from 10 to 5. Um, or we're only open on Saturdays or Sundays from this time, uh, something like that. So, but I do see also grocery stores and stores potentially being wiped out of all products due to this, or most products due to this coronavirus potential lockdown I see coming for California. I'm also hearing national quarantine. So, I feel like pretty much everything and everyone's going to be on lockdown in the USA, but California, once again, is some sort of test state. I keep picking that up. I feel like there's going to be a lot of building building and rebuilding going on in California. So I see certain structures being broken down. This could mean that certain businesses are going to go out of business. Certain, um, maybe even apartment complexes or community homes are going to lose so much revenue that they go out of business and people have to kind of get evicted and see, you know, find somewhere else to live. But I see some sort of relief once again. So I think even if that happens, there's going to be a way where housing is found for the people that are out of housing in some way, shape, or form if it so happens that their apartment complex or their community home gets evicted or goes bankrupt or something like that. There's going to be a lot of situations like that where companies go bankrupt and the property goes bankrupt and stuff, stuff like that because people just can no longer pay the bills. Um, especially if there's been issues with late payments prior or there's late payments already on, on the bill. So I do see that. Um, I was saying, I don't know if I said this earlier, but I'm seeing something about crops, plants. So I feel like people may raid, I don't know if this happens just in California or all over the world, but I see, I'm seeing crop raids. So I feel bad for kind of farmers who may lose out on crops due to people raiding their, their crop fields and stuff like that. Make sure that you are protecting your crops and stuff like that. I'm not sure how that would happen, but I always see police, kind of LAPD, monitor, monitor, monitoring the situation. So there could be something where LAPD has to, or the martial law, I don't know, has to kind of monitor crop fields or something like that. Because 
Farmers could actually lose revenue due to this, due to people bombarding crop fields or something like that. And it could happen overnight when no one's paying attention or something like that. So you do have to be careful with that. And also, I mean, I'm also seeing something about animals bombarding crop fields as well. So farmers are really going to go through it in California, I'm picking up. Um, which could affect other states, especially if there's fruits, vegetables, and stuff like that being exported from California to other states. So there could be delays in your fruit baskets, your fruit boxes, keep that in mind, all right, especially if they're from California or anywhere near California. Um, there could be a lot of crime going on in California, especially during the lockdown, because all stores are going to be closed and um, you just never know. I'm assuming the, the, the LAPD, the, 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 you know, the law would have some sort of control over it, but I see potential, I'm hearing larceny, but I feel like certain stores could be broken into during this, this I'm hearing a raid, so I feel like during this, um, during this uh, lockdown, there could be raids of stores, retail stores and stuff like that, grocery stores, things of that nature. There's definitely, I'm seeing Beverly Hills, Beverly Hills, so I think there's going to be some cities, towns, and things of that nature in California that are going to get re hit really hard, especially in terms of real estate, I'm hearing. Um, it's going to be actually pretty cheap to buy home, homes in California, cheaper than it used to be, due to so, like, uh, due to so many people leaving California and an influx of people outside of California to other neighboring states and things of that nature. Um... And I'm also seeing something that may happen with immigrant immigrant work, workers in Cal California. I don't know what I mean by that. But there could be something with that as well. But I'm seeing that crops are going to be affected by this coronavirus pandemic. Somewhat, somehow, some way. So, um, I'm praying for the farmers out there um, in California. Um... And I'm also seeing something about animals, and I think it has something to do with a, a decrease in pollution in California. And I feel like the, a lot of the pollution in California actually has to deal with, like, the roads. Like, there's so much traffic, and the traffic, I've never been to California, but I'm just picking this energy up. There's, and I, I think I've watched a few videos where they say the, Cal, the traffic in California is really bad, but I'm seeing, picking up the energy... And the traffic goes on for so long and so many hours that the air gets emitted with so much carb I hear carbon dioxide from the cars emitting gas into the air and things like that. So I feel like that's a big part of what California is dealing with right now. So I would say if we're going to look into global warming and just improving the environment, which I have to say that the environment, especially in California, which we're going back to that smog and that carbon dioxide and pollution, there's something about California where the environment was just right for the coronavirus to run rampant. I do pick that pick up that energy. So we need to treat the planet with more respect, you all. This is literally the planet. I've talked about this in my 2020 channel reading where I said the planet gets some sort of infection or wound and has to purge itself to heal the wound. I think this is what I was alluding to during that reading. So go ahead. I may link it below. Check out my 2020 channel messages reading where I talk about a lot of the events that are happening right now in 2020. Literally. Even down to the Africa situation with the locust. I said in, in, in that reading that a lot of things that happened in the past, whether uh, on, the, on Earth, a lot of things that happened in the past, whether this is in the 18th century, the 1st century, 10 AD, 80, 10 AD before Christ, or, you know, 1222, or, you know, 1532, 1822, 1999, it doesn't matter. There's going to be certain situations where history is going to repeat itself on Earth, and I think we're seeing that happen right now. So definitely check out that reading. I'm going to link that below. If I can remember, I'm going to write it in my phone, because I want to film this video. Um, I want to upload this video right after I film it, but I have a client reading in, like, less than an hour, and I have to eat. So I'm like, ugh, I don't know. I just kind of want to chill at the same time. This reading was really heavy. But I think, I feel like California's things are going to get better for you all in around June, July or August. I'm picking up June, anywhere from June to August, I feel like, is when things are going to get a lot better in California. But you guys are going to lo lose out on a lot of revenue in terms of tourist attractions and in terms of just people leaving the actual state itself. 
I'm saying something about Cuba, so people could migrate to Cuba or Miami and stuff like that, Florida. All right, so love and light, God bless and no stress. California, it's going to take a while for you to recover from this situation. I wish you all the best. Be safe out there. I'm going to definitely keep you all in my prayers. California is actually one of the main sources or the main um, state in the United States that views a lot of my videos on YouTube. So a lot of my watchers and audiences and subscribers come from California. Um, so I just felt like I had to do this reading for you all. I mean, you all always think I'm from California, which is so funny to me, but I guess I give off a California vibe. So I've heard that before more than once. Thank you for listening and watching. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, comment and share with your friends and family. Keep in touch with me on my social media, Lamar Townsend Tarot on Instagram and Facebook. And remember, if you want a personal reading from me, I am, ava uh, I, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I am available for personal readings. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I would love to read for you. I'm tired, I think. Uh, that reading was really a, a little bit of a drain. Okay, yes, I'm available for personal reading, so definitely check out my website, lamartownsventero.com, to um, purchase your reading. Uh, you can check out my store section, or you can schedule a reading directly with me via Schedule City. Just try to make sure you schedule your reading a few hours ahead if you're going to schedule with me via Schedule City. But remember, I do astrology, natal chart, birth chart readings. I also do psychic tarot readings. I also do candle work energy work and more. Love and light, I'll see you in the next video or I'll see you for your own personal reading. Either way, I'll see you soon. I'm sorry I had to laugh at myself. Either way, I'll see you soon. <laughs> oh Lord, what a, what a day it's been. What a, what a week, what a month. What a coronavirus. I love y'all. Be safe.